This town highlights everything about Shakespeare, even the most personal aspects that influence the originality of his literary works. Half of Shakespeare's life is told here through the house where he was born, his favorite items, his primary school, the house where he spent the last days of his life, and even the church where his grave lies. And I believe some of the places there are reflected in his work. Um, there was a television series, wasn't there, yeah. some while back, um, how his work was reflected, um, his travels were reflected. Every year, about 5 million visitors from all over the world flock to Stratford-upon-Avon. For hundreds of years, the town has done a good job of promoting tourism. Yes, there's, there's a, a parade and it marches from the birthplace right through to the mm -hmm. uh, church where he's buried and then there's a meal. Yeah. And there's still a lot of Tudor buildings in Stratford, mm -hmm. a lot of the architecture, if he was here at this site today. Millions of people visit Stratford upon Avon primarily for its association with William Shakespeare. But perhaps they also come here to find a sense of peace and harmony in an ancient English village, even if it's just a couple of hours.